<sighs> Shout out to my guys, man. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode, excuse me, of Dropping Downs and Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today I'm going to talk about today's AFC wildcard matchup. You had the Cincinnati Bengals beating the Las Vegas Raiders 26 to 19. Um, admitted controversial first half call, yo. <clears throat> um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come high and let your bar. Also, if you are Madden 22 player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Uh, Y'all may hear beeping noise throughout the video. Uh, please disregard that. Um, and I do apologize for the inconvenience. Wow. <laughs> um, Look, as an LSU guy, man, look, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was pulling for the Cincinnati Bengals, um, Jambalaya, Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase. That was my guys, man. And they were two of the biggest architects. Uh, that had LSU, you know, win a national championship a couple of years ago and have arguably the greatest college football season by a team in college football history, arguably. And uh, Burrow was the, obviously the, the Heisman Trophy winner. Jamal Chase was the Belitnikoff Award winner. So I had a great interest in them. Um, and they did their things to the thing tonight. They showed out, uh, especially in that first half. Bur uh, Jambalaya Joe Burrow was just awesome. Um <clears throat> To say this was his first playoff game, he was out there. He was like Joe Cool, completing passes. Um, just his pocket presence is awesome. Uh, his accuracy. And Jamal Chase is just a big-time wide receiver. Um, his hands, just how physical he is. Uh, the fact that he just could make so many 50-50 ball catches. Um, he was great. And, um... Touchdown pass to Uzama, touchdown pass to Tyler Boyd, which I'm about to talk about in a little bit. Uh, you know, just uh, and and what's what's gonna go under, what's gonna be under the radar for the Cincinnati Bengals in this game is they kick a McPherson. McPherson was four for four on field goals, which was huge in this game. Um, so you got to give him a lot of credit also. And defensively, early on, now they did have some injuries along the D line as the game went on, but. Uh, early on, you had a big strip sack by Henderson uh, that led, you know, to more points for them. So, and at the end, Raiders started coming back a little bit. Raiders do what they do. They they are competitive. They fight. They stay in games a lot. And um, but the defense for Cincinnati gets a big interception at the end when the Raiders had a chance to probably send the game into overtime. And um, <clears throat> you know, you do ultimately got to give Cincinnati's defense a lot of credit also to holding. Uh, that off that Raiders offense to just 19 points. So um, it was just a good game, a good ending, a good start to these playoffs, and uh, Cincinnati did a good job. Now, something that is going to get talked about a lot is late in the first half, uh, Jambalaya Joe Burrow threw a touchdown pass to Tyler Boyd when it seemed like the whistle blew and it looked like a lot of Raiders players including some Bengals players, just stopped on the play. Uh, and boy was able to get a touchdown. It's a play that that should obviously, uh, it shouldn't have counted with the fact that a whistle was blown. They should have replayed the play. Now, it's not to say that Cincinnati wasn't going to score anyway. It's not to say that they would have gotten stopped. We'll never know, but that play should have not counted. And the reason why it ends up being such a big deal is because say that they do hold the Bengals to three points there instead of seven. Now we're looking at a 22 to 19 game late in that scenario. Well, guess what? The Raiders worst case scenario could have tied the game because they kick a, you know, um, <clears throat> as you know, they kick a Carlson was four for four on field goals also. So they could have tied the game and we could have been playing in overtime, but uh, the refs blew the whistles. I know Raiders fans are going to be upset about this, and rightfully so. But, you know, it, it happens. You know, uh, you can ask a lot of teams. It happens in the playoffs with controversial um, calls and situations. But Cincinnati Bengals win 
first playoff win in 31 years. Shout out to them. Um, and we're going to see what they're going to take on next week. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, man. Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.